hello welcome back to the channel hopefully by the time you have seen this you have saw my first and second video okay here's the deal <laughs> with my videos if you have been rocking with me for years then you will know that my husband typically the one who does the filming hence this bootleg situation i have here but don't worry i'm getting my gear up surely but anyway that's neither here nor there this is what you're gonna get but anyway i am headed to the gym if you are new here thank you for joining i have decided to vlog and capture my journey on my postpartum back to the NPC competition stage. And when it comes to these videos, I will get better as time goes on. I will post longer videos and frequent videos, but just so I can stay consistent and make sure you and I are connected, I'm just gonna keep them short and sweet once a week. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Leave a comment below if you feel that you would want longer videos or these short and sweet videos are doing just that. I am taking you along my training a little bit. Today is a leg and glute day. And I'm gonna say amazing because every phase of this journey is amazing for me. So I'm gonna embrace every aspect of it. But my legs and my body is coming into form, honey. Your girl is really reaping the benefits of this, um, of my coach's plan. I will be honest with you. I had some health issues happen with my daughter within the last, I would say month or so. And it kind of threw me off. My coach kind of was just letting me know in a real conversation, like, Hey, let's get back on it. Let's get back to the nutrition. And he's right. And every week when I check in, there needs to be a benchmark that I hit. Life happens. Um, I had to readjust, but anyway, nevertheless, in this vlog, I will be sharing my meal plan. I am on a four meal, two snack regimen. And my calories, I'm not even going to tell you what my calories is because I don't want nobody doing what I do. You have to do what's aligned with your body and on your journey. But I am headed to the gym and I'm going to film my workout. I work out legs and glutes twice a week. So whenever you see my legs popping and doing this thing, it's these wonderful leg days. And yes, I do be walking around like Bambi for a couple of days. But if I'm not walking around like Bambi, that means I didn't do something right. Uh, so with that being said, um, today is going to be a, a leg day and I'll be walking like Bambi, but I'm going to do a really good stretch post and pre or pre and post. So therefore I won't, I can have a good recovery, but hopefully, um, I won't be in the gym all day. My husband was like, don't be too long. And I'm like, sir, let me be great. <laughs> let me be great. But I'm going to try to focus and not have any distractions by responding to any of my clients and responding to any messages from pot potential people wanting to join my app and just really grind um, and get out, head down, weights up and get this workout in. But let's go, let's go ahead and get this workout in. Follow me, let's go. Okay, I just finished my workout, and when I tell you my workout today almost took me out. Um, today was the legs and glutes day, or quads, I'm sorry, quads day ended. It almost took me out, but I am about to do a 35 minute on the Stairmaster, coach's orders, and after that, I am done. But all I'm gonna say is, this journey or fitness is not for the faint. And you learn to build your own joy for working out, but you really have to find 
your wife when you work out because you're going to want to quit 18,000 times. <laughs> but when you think about the reason of why you're doing something, and um, for me, it's therapeutic. For me, it is more than just fitness and, you know, external. It's mental. It's physical and spiritual. Like I have so many joys when I work out and talks with God. I mean, it's just so many different levels. So I recommend you to find a new life because if you don't, you'll be on a roller coaster in and out. <laughs> but anyway, let me do my stair mastery. Hey, welcome back. I'm rolling this morning. <laughs> I'm actually headed to our vending machine. I just left Walmart to restocking items and I left Sam's to pick up restocking items to stock our vending machine. And I am about to restock it and collect. And from there, I am headed to go meal prep my food. I am a pescatarian, I do not eat meat. So my meal plans consist of seafood and it consists of a calorie intake that is going to align with my goal of decreasing my body fat, but keeping my protein up to increase my muscle. And my coach is doing a really good job of um, with the plan to find balance to decrease body fat. And that is one challenge that I feel that a lot of people experience on trying to burn fat and increase muscle at the same time without burning into your muscle, if that makes sense. But anyway, nevertheless, without getting too much into details into the bodybuilding aspect of it, that's kind of like what we're going to now. But for my clients that I work with, I like to always educate them when they talk about I'm eating healthy, eating nutritional balanced meals, um, but they are not losing weight. One phrase that will solve all of that. You have to consume less calories than you are burning when you're on a weight loss train. Even if you are consuming nutritional healthy foods if you're eating in a calorie surplus and you're consuming more calories than you are burning you're going to either maintain your weight or you either going to increase your weight so in order to change that you need to consume less calories than you are burning hopefully that makes sense we celebrated my seven-year wedding anniversary with my husband i'm so excited because my husband and i it, you know we made seven years we've been together for 13 years but we made seven years and it is completion so i'm really excited about that i feel like i love my body at, at this stage so what that looks like for me when it comes to my routine i have a routine down pat um i wake up in the morning i take my daughter to school from taking her to school um i do my job um from doing my eight to five i do have eight to five i end up picking up my children from school and from there i am already ready to go to the gym and I go to the gym and when I go to the gym, our gym has a kids club and I drop them off at the kids, excuse me, at the kids club. They have a wang dang shebang. And I stay there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours max. And I knock out my workout and I get in and I get out. I have my head down, weights up. That's the rule, not for the faint. Um, but fitness is, you know, I always tell my clients, fitness is not something that you can just get in and get out. I mean, you can, but you know, you run the risk if you don't maintain gaining all that back and then to lose it, it gets harder every time. It's a mind, it's a mind, it's a mindset. Um, people always say, you have so much discipline. I'm like, <laughs> really? Uh, I mean, but I, I have built up my discipline. I'm not the, let me give myself my credit when credit's due. We not downplaying anything. We up, we up and it's shining around here. But I will say, I feel like I put my goals out there into the universe and I am very intentional about what I do. And I'm not letting nobody, anything, not even myself, stop me from reaching that goal. So anyway, um, show. So when it comes down to the show that I'm doing, I thought I was gonna do a July show, but came to a conclusion that I'm just going to train as hard as I can, work out as, as you know, do my plan, focus, head down, weights up, follow the plan, trust the process, and maybe July-ish, August, if my body is there and we look and see what show is available, we're going to hit it. Um, and that's how I think it should be. I don't feel like you should push your body for a show. I feel like you should just train. And when your coach tells you you're ready, you look at what show is around. You decide on which show you're going to pick. Body being ready and you go for it. And that's what we, that's the plan we have. 
this is really going to be the show that says you got it girl like you did it i am a mom of two my daughter's about to be six and two years old i have not competed in six years like the last time i competed was six years ago and i'm just really excited about this transformation this is like this is i'm not doing this for nobody but myself and i am like really proud of myself it's really mental it's really all about how far can you push yourself um in reference to sticking to your goals but at the same time enjoying the process and i will say i am enjoying the process i am enjoying people looking at me and and seeing how much how good i look like i'm enjoying all of that i'm not even gonna lie to you i am i love when people say you look amazing because it just goes to show the work that i'm putting in is being um it's being noticeable by people and you can call it what you want to call it but <laughs> i love it <laughs> i really do love the transformation of fitness and i feel like once i reach my goal i can't wait to get into maintain mode and just be building muscle so my goal right now is to decrease as much body fat as i can for stage purposes and then from there we're piling on muscle muscle, muscle and um muscle. my goal for fitness i want to go pro i really do i had pray to god i talked to my husband and i want to go pro i that i am a professional athlete correction i am a, pro a professional athlete um and i am standing 10 toes down in it so i'm going to go pro by the grace of god you know he will cover me and make my journey very um enjoyable as as it already has been and i am loving it every step of the way I'm going to head back to my house and meal prep. And if you want to see that, stay tuned and let's make it happen.